So here comes Jeannie Mai trying to wiggle her way out of this prenup that she signed with Jeezy. Let's go to the Breakfast Club for the video. Now, Jeannie Mai asked for a delay on prenup enforcement. She is asking the court to throw out Jeezy's motion to enforce their prenup. She said uh, if they don't dismiss Jeezy's motion, she asked, uh, could they at least delay it? She claims that they only started the prenup process five days before the wedding, so she didn't get a chance to review it properly Not before my signing. Not my problem. She's asking for extra time to make sure the terms of the prenup are fair to her. No. She said the short time she was given to review the prenup raises significant concerns about the uh, 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 the thoroughness of the due diligence process. Jeannie Mai also apparently expressed significant reservations about Jeezy's finances. Her, law her lawyers claim Jeezy only shared one financial statement with them, which doesn't seem sufficient for Jeannie. Dropping the clues bombs for Pastor <laughs> Young. <laughs> Pastor Young, Jeezy, that is. I listen, contracts are legally binding. But it seems like... So are prenups. There's no such thing as right. I didn't have time to read it. You signed it. But this is what I don't understand, and no, I've been seeing that a lot. Not, what? People don't seem like they care about prenups, and people don't care about NDAs. People you do what they want to do anyway. Well, but if you sign well, it, you should have to stick to it. And that's exactly you have, right. You have, you have attorneys. That's exactly Your attorney's right. seen it. You signed off on it. That's that, exactly that's right. That's not his fault. You ain't no newcomer. You had an opportunity Jenny to Ma. say, I don't like this, or take this out, that's or I right. need this more. Yes, Jenny Ma, you've been around a long time. You've been in this business a long time. That That is not an excuse that you did not have time to read it. Well, not only that, she's been married before, so she's been through the process before, I'm sure. Oh, she was married before? Yeah. I didn't she know was married that. to Wayne, right? She was married? Yeah. I didn't know that. And they got divorced because she, he wanted, she wanted a baby. She wanted some dog meat. He wanted a baby, and she didn't want she a baby. some dog meat? I don't remember. All I know well, is... Well, dog meat, she said, was for fun. Like, I, I, okay. Like me was not. All That's I, what she said. All I know is... Right. She signed the prenup. She did. And okay. That, and that is your room You can't go back. Nope. And, and, and redo the prenup after the prenup has been signed. I wish contracts worked like that. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. What? If contracts work like that. I want to go back. I didn't like it. I didn't, I didn't have I time like to it. sign it. Can I go back? And no, like no, 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 no. No, no, no. Trap or die. <laughs> trap or die. It's when you got to die. <laughs> you got trapped or die. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Charlamagne say trap or die. I mean, it is what it is. This is what you signed. You knew what you was getting. You looked over it enough, but now it's just like you weren't the one to, to file a divorce or either he didn't break the prenup by adultery or whatever stipulations that y'all may have put in there that the prenup could be broken or could be considered to be null and void. Void. So now you're trying to go through these different measures to have it thrown out or have it not be valid or this, that, and another. And this comes after she didn't already try to make up claims of him cheating to get the prenup null and void like you she just going at it this any time any which way she can go at this because she's now not gonna get that severance package that she won't and we're forgetting she's still gonna get a good amount of money for the baby that was produced in this marriage they just hit Emma Udoka for 32,000 a month they was what they was going after 56,000 a month right so she's going to get money for the baby every month, but that ain't enough. So now she got to say they, you know, they, uh, it wasn't enough time. You should break the, what? Listen, give me, uh, I'll tell you this. If someone said, I'll give you $500 million right now, you just have to read these papers thoroughly. And those papers were however long, however many pages that divorce, <laughs> that divorce was, I bet you read it. I bet you read it in probably one, one or two days. You dig what I'm saying? And we and we ain't talking about Jeannie Meyer, somebody who who doesn't work or doesn't have much. She's on TV. She's been doing the the view or the talk, whatever that show is for however long. I don't watch it because it's terrible. So I don't know what it's called or whatever. But you you understand what I'm saying? She got money and she got lawyers that very well would would. Be put to work in this situation and were put to work in this situation. I'm a thousand percent sure she didn't skim over this by herself. I'm sure when that divorce uh, prenup or whatever was 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 handed to her and presented to her, it was handed it was presented to her and her lawyers to go over it and figure out what y'all want to do. You understand what I'm saying? Why it was only five days before? I don't know, but that's what it was. 
But like I say, if you if if, if five hundred million dollars was on the on the line and you had to get a lawyer to skim through this and decide to whether whether you was gonna get five hundred million or not, I bet you would have got it skimmed over in enough time to do that. And then uh, like we just saying, this this isn't her first divorce. I don't know if her um, husband before now, uh, the one she was previously married to, they was married for. 10 years, I believe, or, or they was together for 10 years, but they was married and they definitely had a, a, a messy divorce. So I don't know if prenups was involved in that marriage, but somebody in the comments did say that it was, but I, I'm just going to say, looking at how her divorce went with that, you're, you're not no stranger to this process. You're not no stranger to none of this. So for you to get if there had been no prenup and y'all were fighting over this, that, and the other in that last marriage, for you to now get a prenup or have a prenup presented to you, considering how messy the last one relationship ended, I'm pretty sure that you would be thorough enough to figure out if you want to go into this marriage or not. But see, this is the thing. A lot of women react like this because they, they, go, they go into this Wanting it to be, maybe she, maybe she liked Jeezy enough or whatever, whatever. But they go into this expecting fully to get something in return. This is why she's mad. This is this is why she was uh, scratching and clawing to keep the marriage together. Because for one, she went into the marriage thinking she was going to be able to act how she'd been acting. If, if you heard s s people talk about her behind the scenes. She uh she described herself as this. Uh, it was the, the the dragon or something. When the dragon comes out, she's talked about this her, herself and how she gets out of hand. So you have these women who think they can go into a marriage and continue to be this way, irrational and unreasonable, you know, creatures that don't want to compromise on their attitudes. And then you got a man who like, look, you either going to change that or I'm not dealing with it. And this is probably the first time she, she like came across somebody who was like very serious about that. In the point that he ain't about to argue with you. He ain't about to go in this long drawing out. Y'all ain't about to be throwing stuff, tearing up houses, and tearing up this, that, and the other. It's going to, you're going to look up one day and he gone. This is what he did. She was mad about that. She was trying to reconcile because she she realized she signed this prenup. <laughs> and it didn't went wrong. He didn't break the prenup, prenup by adultery or whatever, whatever reasons, right? He minded his half of the prenup, did what he was supposed to do. And then now she's like freaking out because now she, the marriage is over and she can't get what she wanted to get out of it. She can't get the, the severance package that she wanted. So she's asking the judge to throw this out and do what? And listen, I was I was sad to see them get divorced, even though I had some reservations about them getting together in the first place. First, I feel like, why are we giving up on our sisters so easily? And then second, it's just like, you know, the comments she had about white meat keeps her mean and lean and dark meat on the side. Like, I wasn't rocking with that. You know what I'm saying? And plus, she just always came off to me like it's kind of very over the top as far as wanting to be immersed in black culture. And it seemed very disingenuous to me. You know what I'm saying? But once they got married, it's like, hey, it is what it is. I'm rooting for y'all to stay together. So like I said earlier, I I'm sad that they got divorced because, as I say always, I mean, marriage is very serious to me, and I and I do root for families to stay together for the for the for the sake of the kids growing up, and and just for the sake of family. I believe you should give it a, uh, you know, take it very seriously, and give it a fighting chance because it, marriage is not gonna it's not an easy thing, as we see the, the divorce rates. I haven't been through marriage, but I'm just saying we all know this that it's not an easy thing to go through. It's not an easy thing to uh, exist in. So you have to go over and above to give it a, a fair chance of survival. For whatever reason, Jeezy decides not to, but that still doesn't mean that because they didn't decide to continue this marriage, that she's able to just wiggle out of this prenup. 
I mean, five days can be considered to be a short amount of time for this type of thing to be sprung on you, but you got a decision to make. You made a decision. I'm I'm very sure that your lawyers read the papers front to back and back to front multiple times over and discussed what was in them with you. So that being said, I mean, you can't really just sign an important document like that and then act like it doesn't exist. But this is the world we live in with marriage and divorce and all of this type of stuff. You know, it's it, the way divorce works anyway, this day and age is just um, ridiculous to me anyway, because it's, it's like women are using divorce and children in this day and age as a job. That's their only reason for <laughs> for doing this, like the look of the marriage. And then after they get into it, you know, certain type of women, after they get into the marriage, it's just like, you know, the littlest thing is, is like whatever. And they're done with it. And they take their severance package with the alimony and all of this and the child support and live a great life talking about how much they don't need me. But whatever, though, this is your boy P. Cam. Let me know what you think about it. Get at your boy.